Hello and welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. I am going to try to go over all of this stuff really fast because there are a lot of things to talk about because a lot of things have been happening uh, in the news. Uh, first of all, I'd like to comment on the uh, Polish uh, president and uh, high-ranking members of the military uh, dying in a plane crash. Um, now, from a political perspective, this helps Russia because uh, the particular um, the president and uh, some members of the military have uh, a more pro-Western approach, anti-Russia approach. Uh, so um, as far as political advantages go, this moves um, things more towards a pro-Russian stance from the point of view of the, the Poles. Um, now also we have uh, uprisings in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, which some have dubbed another color revolution, although um, ousting the 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 one leader who's still claiming to be in power uh, in favor of another, um, they have decided that they are going to allow the U.S. to continue to use our base there in Kyrgyzstan, their uh, terrorist base. Um, so. What does that mean? Uh, that um, in this particular instance, it may mean a wash. Uh, no one's coming out on top in this particular one. Um, maybe uh, once things are settled and it's finally decided who's actually in control there, we may be able to make some political connections. Uh, if it turns out that this is another incident uh, where Russia makes out, then uh, certainly um, uh, we could wonder at both of these things happening at the same time from from the Russian perspective. Are they lashing out now? Are they trying to take steps uh, to counter moves of the Brzezinski-led anti-Russian forces here in the administration in the United States? Possibly. Uh, the West Virginia mine disaster. Perfect example of why laissez-faire capitalism is doomed. It's a total sham and it's a fraud. The guy that runs that mine had been cited so many times for so many violations that there's no reason why he should have been operating that mine to begin with. And yet, there he was, continuing to do as he was doing, cutting corners, and especially in the area of employee safety, all for the sake of profits, and that's what's wrong with the capitalist system. That's what's wrong with the economy as it has turned into in this country. That is a very loud rallying cry against capitalism, right there. Uh, the jobs program uh, looks to be in trouble. Um, in Congress. And why is that? Because now, all of a sudden, after the federal government has given away trillions of dollars to the banks and Wall Street, suddenly it's belt tightening time when it comes to doing anything to help individuals and families. People out of work and losing their homes. Screw you! We can't afford to pay for that, says the government. We've given away trillions of dollars that we'll never see again. But for you, not a penny. So that's a sham. Um, and as I said before, I've noticed a lot more talk in certain media about Social Security. Social Security is the next target. Okay, Medicare has already been hit and it's going to continue to be eroded as time goes by. Social Security will be next. Um, net neutrality. Uh, on the issue of net neutrality, the FCC lost the court case that Comcast brought against them. Um, and the court ruled that the FCC did not have the authority to, to uh, enforce net neutrality. In other words, they did not have the authority to tell Comcast that they had to provide equal access to everybody, regardless of, you know, um, what they're uploading or downloading. So, um, that's an issue that we really need to focus on because that is something that could potentially affect activists on the internet. Um, Thailand is also erupting into violence. Um, 
I haven't really been following this very much, so I can't say anything other than this is something to keep an eye on. Um, 